Hold it further. Why can't I hold it any further? Why can't you move your arm? Not really. I need a wider angle lens. Oh, we're not using that super duper microphone either. We're just using the standard one, are we? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. So we're driving. <laughs> this is Casey Paulstadt. Casey Paulstadt. He's got his fancy tripod. Yeah. Fancy got, what's it called? A Joby, is it? A Joby, yeah. yeah. I want, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about either. I've got to get a skateboard for sure. That goes without. I'm just going to have to get a skateboard. We've got the camera and everything like that now. So what I was thinking was, I've either got to get the cap with the other sunnies, or I need to grow a mustache, 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 <laughs> and do the twirly twirl with it. The what? The twirly twirl. Okay. So there you go. I'm oh, getting better at this holding the camera thing. I is think. Is it hard to hold thirty? Uh, do you keep on? Oh, see, this is the good thing about wearing sunglasses because when you look at the LCD. Yeah, I'm just doing the LCD right now. No one actually knows you're holding uh, the LCD. I'm looking at your lens, bruh. So there you go. What are you doing? I'm just carrying a few quads over to the flight line. As you do. Oh, well, I'll see you out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty preposterous. It is. Well, they all go in a certain way which allows me to then unfold them like this. It's weird when you got things like that that you've, like, you know how to do now. I've got tricks for carrying cords without damaging them. That's pretty preposterous. Okay guys, I'm testing about to happen here. You want to tell us what we're doing? We're having a look at 32-bit ESCs. Uh, these are the T-Motor 32-bit ESCs. Um, interesting thing here, we've got a 4S rated one and a 6S rated one. Pretty much, uh, on the non 32 bit ESCs we've tested, we've always found 6S ESCs run better than the 4S rated ones. Even on 4S, 6S ESCs just seem to be able to give more power quicker. And so what we're going to test today is the 32 bit 4S versus 32 bit 6S. Wait, no, 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 we're not. We're testing 32 bit. <laughs> Hang on guys, I'm a bit tired. Okay, and it's windy. So we're testing the 32-bit 4S ESCs versus non-32-bit 6S ESCs to see if the having the 32-bit capability makes the 4S ESC more capable than the 6S in normal. Show us the quads. So these are our quads. They're pretty much identical. Um, same fairings, same motors, same cameras, different lenses, but that's not going to change much. Um, Really, the only difference is the ESCs. It's so windy. Oh, this no. isn't going to be much of a test, but anyway. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Okay, so... First step is to get in the right channel. Got it. You ready? I am ready. So I'm going to use the dad's gimbal to begin with. So he's using that gimbal there. Yeah, this is the, uh, this what dad uses. I don't mind it, it's okay. Doesn't suit me so much, but for you it works perfectly, doesn't it? Yes. So yeah, we'll have another video on that. They might have already sent the video, depending on what order I still release these in. Ah, oh, true. <laughs> Gee, they tune gone well. These quads are tuned by dad, this one here. It's pretty good. This is running a multi shot to get the most out of that uh, non 32 bit ESC for racing. So, this is running the uh, 6S ESC, isn't it? But the non 32 bit. 6S, non 32 bit, and on multi shot. The yeah, other one's 32 bit on D shot because those ESCs are actually designed for D shot. Just trying to get comfortable with them. 20 seconds. Blowing so much wide. Oh gosh, I'm not used to this. Right. Yeah, it's also nice to this quad. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, ah. the quad down. Whoa. Do the next one now. Yeah. Yep, running the 32 bit, but on 4S rated instead of 6S. Um, it's worth mentioning, I've actually already flown this on my radio to see if it works. So um, this is really comparing it to that other quad that we did. Um, but I already know roughly where it's in, so... I've already flown it too. Yeah. And I like it. So let's give her a go. Go for it. God, God the wind's crazy. picked up. 
So yeah, not much of a fair test. I think we have to do more testing to really put it somewhere like where it sits, but... I'm not sure whether you're going to see it in the video. I know it actually feels smoother. There's no it definitely feels smoother, yeah. You can see it in the video. So I'm going to say... That's just so nice. Even having to adapt to the new gimbal, I'm still pretty comfortable well, that's behind it. Well, I think too, you are flying with a completely different gimbal with less throw, so that would be missing a little bit too. It's definitely a lot smoother than your other quad, that's for sure. Man, I'll tell you what, trying to hold the camera is actually hard. Because it's so windy. I'm actually working hard to hold the uh, camera. Look up there, we need these. Shoe feels good, doesn't it? Really good. It kind of feels silky smooth to fly, doesn't it? Yeah. Ten, nine, Those slaloms look nuts. Do they? Yeah. Not feeling the sharpest. Well, considering how windy it is, well, you're doing the slaloms better than I am. Feels great, man. Okay. So, so what's on it? It feels really, really good. Um, compared to that other quad, which is the same setup, um, the low end seems a little bit better, but the noticeable thing was how much more smoother it was, even in the wind. Um, on those other ESCs, the uh, non um, the, the non BR Heli 32 ones, I tried them on D shot, and I could get them to work, but they were like distinctly worse than what uh, multi-shot was in performance, right? But they're more reliable, which is why I'm switched to D-shot on them, right? Yep. Um, but comparing that on multi-shots in its like optimal configuration to these 32 bit ESCs, which are built for D-shot, running D-shot, and they're only 4S rated, and I reckon they're definitely better. Like they're handling wind better, they felt a little bit more better in line. This wind, man. I'm laughing, I'm coming, having trouble holding the camera. So you would say that the, uh the hype is real? Yeah, basically, be the 32. Worthwhile upgrade, yeah. Um, even if you're on 6S rated ESCs, it looks like 4S ESCs, um, or at least the Team Rotor ones, will perform just as well as your 6S. Yep. Uh, well, I still think the case. 6S are a touch nicer, but not much. Yeah, well, I've got 6S versions of these, which are on another quad, and that thing is mind blowing. It's, um, I have to comp try and compare these ESCs now to that, because that's got a few other tweaks to it too. That have made it a bit different. That's also running uh, TBS uh, Crossfire too. Yeah, this is running S. -bus. So there's a few more variables in that one, which is going to make it hard to determine what is what. Yeah, which is what surprised me. I'm curious to see how close this is because it feels like the gap between a 4S and a 6S ESC on non BR Heli 32 is, big. is a lot bigger compared to what it is between BR Heli 32 4S versus 6S. Um, Long, we have to do a lot it's more really a, with yeah, it. Yeah, it's really a matter now of how close are they, or is it going to be you put them on a bigger motor and that's when the success is going to really So we're going to do some more so. testing with that, but at the moment, 32-bit. Uh, yeah, even if you're running a 4S ESC, it's going to be fine. It's really good. Anyway, I'm going to end the recording there because I can't hold this camera anymore. This is about to blow me down. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. See ya.